Limrag. I have a cheerful question that I know. A senior Conservative backbencher, William Ragg, finds himself at the centre of a sex scam that has rocked Parliament. He's admitted handing over personal contacts of fellow MPs to a man he met on a dating app. He told The Times, They had compromising things on me. They wouldn't leave me alone. They would ask for people. I gave them some numbers, not all of them. I told him to stop. He's manipulated me and now I've hurt other people. So far, though, Mr Ragg has received support and sympathy from his party. Well, I think the events of the last few days uh, have been a great cause for concern. Uh, the MP involved has given a courageous and fulsome apology. But the lesson here for all MPs is that they need to be very careful about cyber security. Though a few of his constituents were less forgiving. They're all a bunch of children. They all behave as badly as each other. They don't know how to conduct themselves as adults. I'm appalled at what he's done. I'm even more appalled the fact that he gave the phone numbers of other MPs. And MPs are given plenty of advice on such matters. This extract from a National Cyber Security Centre briefing for MPs talks specifically about messaging apps. Consider the recipient, it says. Are they who they say they are? And it warns MPs to avoid accepting message requests from unknown accounts. Training, though, isn't mandatory, and some now think that it should be. But I spoke to one MP who was targeted by this scam who told me it was so obviously a scam that they deleted it immediately. They said it was extraordinary that anybody had replied at all. Another MP, Conservative Luke Evans, has just come forward as a victim of the attack. He went straight to police. I got a one-time open photo on WhatsApp of an explicit image of a naked lady. As soon as I got these, the next day I reported it to the police, the authorities and the chief whip. One former police officer, once in charge of MPs' protection, said that was the way to handle it. One would like to think there's some, some common sense and some, some intelligence being practised around personal behaviour. Oh, yeah. I think what it will do is it'll... I imagine the, the kind of ears will prick up across some of our adversaries, shall we say, to, to recognise that actually this is a technique that our MPs are vulnerable to. And there's the problem. Even if the impact of this latest scandal can be contained, it's highlighted a weakness that can be exploited. Next time, it could be worse. Matthew Thompson, Sky News, Westminster.